really. Good morning. Good morning. This is saying that we have a low connection. I don't know why. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Let's see if we can tag some people. Yes. Good God morning. I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. Yes, Minister Rosa J. Yes, Coach Rosa J. Who am I? I am a student of, of the truth. The truth, not a truth, the truth. And I come here every morning at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time to share a course in miracles. I am also an author of I Have Affirmations for the Living. Also, I am a health and wealth coach. I am, as my daughter calls me, the witch doctor of oils. I have a method or a suggestion for healing with oils and herbs constantly. And I was thinking the other day, one of the greatest healing is hydrogen, food hydrogen. It actually gives your cells the ability to become more oxidized, oxidized, more hydrogen in your cells because cells need hydrogen and so many of us, we breathe these toxins and they make our cells small and not round like they should be. So I was thinking the other day I need to start my regimen again to clear out some of the toxins in a natural way. It's called the One Minute Course and uh, it's used mostly from what I understand on the West Coast. A lot of the doctors find that it works along with earthy which means standing outside barefoot will also oxidize the body and balance those chakras and relieve you from pain. Doctors are finding that there are other ways to healing other than pills and process. I'm not saying that you should not go to the doctors because everyone should have something, but know that, and I believe this, that God already has the healing out there for us, right? So today, we are talking about A Course in Miracles. So let us begin to pray. Every breath I take is a prayer to God. Every thought in my mind is a prayer to God. Life is amazing if we choose to see it that way. A Course in Miracles helps you to see God's plan. For his only plan for us is to be happy, joyous, and free. That's what I believe. And so, therefore, I choose to live and walk in heaven right here. I, kinda, I have let the hell go. You know, the things that I cannot control, I don't worry about them. Things that I cannot add, if I can't add to you, I do not deter you. I just kind of am. So, let's pray. This morning I was reading from one of my favorite books. And one of the first books that I ever started this journey with, which I'm going to show you in one second. Let's stop. Good morning, Eric. Good morning, Elsie. Good morning, Tanner. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I am grateful. I love you all. And Eric says, good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes. I hope you had a beautiful Mother's Day yesterday. I did. Good. Just what this day is the Lord have regimented. 
Hey, Joy, I enjoyed your program yesterday. I hope one day I'm on as a guest. It would be great. We are all on the same path. So I was talking about this book called The Utmost for His Highest. This is one of the first books that I ever started reading when I started reading the Bible because um, it's by Oswald Chambers. And when he died in the 18, late 1800s, his wife um, put together this book of his lessons. And today's lesson kind of goes right along with the Course in Miracles. Isn't that amazing how God does, does that? I find that I remember when I asked God, how do I know that I'm actually talking to you or listening to you? How do I hear you? And God kind of made everything that I read in the morning blend. And I knew that it was only God that I was listening to. And today, God, um, Oswald Chambers says, the habit of keeping a clear conscience and that's what the Course in Miracles is, a clear consciousness tuning in to God. God doesn't come in bangs and, and anxiety. He speaks to us in a soft, silent, quiet voice. It's our consciousness that speaks to us, and most of the time he speaks in our voice. You know, he, we are connected to him. And so, when listening to him, the only thing is required is to be. Be. And he says that Acts 24, 16, strive to have a conscience without offense towards God and men. So, Father God, we come here today in great adoration, great praise and glory, that we become more consciously connected to you, where we think like you, we listen to you, and we be happiness and serve in a happy fashion, that we do things joyously, and we pass this happiness on to others, Father God. Give us a clear, conscious connection with you and your duty for us today, Father. We come here to ask for your assistance so that we may be and show up more like you with that consciousness of Christ, knowing that all things are ours and that we come here to improve our environment, our world. We walk in peace and harmony. We do not allow, or I should say, by doing this, we are allowing your word to speak through us, in us, and with us. We come here today to say thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for one more day to get this right. One more day to love in spite of everything. One more day to live in forgiveness and joy and happiness. We say thank you, thank you. We ask that you bless everyone in our environment, everyone that we meet, everyone who we have a relationship with, whether it is right here in the person or far away, that we know that we are all connected spiritually. So we ask you to guide us, lead us. We ask you in the prayer of the Ho'oponopono, thank you. I love you. Please forgive me. Yes, I apologize. Yes. We ask that you give us all the life of you as we are here to improve our environment, improve, improve our consciousness, thereby improving the world. Ashe. Amen. And so it is. So it is. All right. So today's lesson in A Course in Miracles. <laughs> yes, Joy, thank you for praying with us. Hey, Claudette. It's good to see you. Yolanda, hi. Welcome, welcome. 
Hi, Simone. Welcome. Share this out. Someone is looking for a purpose. And the Course in Miracles not only teaches me the purpose of living, but it also teaches me, and I should say, and it teaches me how to live in a great fashion. Hey, Jay. Long time no see. It's great to see you guys. So, lesson 124. Let me remember I am one with God. Let's breathe and say that. Let me remember I am one with God. Let me remember I am one with God. Let me remember I am one with God. Say this to yourself seven times and see your world change. Yes, that's what I find. So as we meditate today and we learn about this particular lesson, let us go on into the lesson. That kind of gives more insight to it. Today we will get will begin again to give thanks for our identity in God. Our home is safe, protection guaranteed in all we do. Power and strength avail available to us. In all our undertakings. Yes. We can fail in nothing. Everything we touch takes on a shining light that blesses and that heals. In one with God and with the universe, we go our way rejoicing with the thought that God himself goes everywhere with us. Yes. Doesn't that feel good to know and remember that I am one with God? Hmm. Oh, Lord, yes. He goes with me everywhere I go. Now, holy are our minds. How holy are our minds? And everything we see reflects the holiness within the mind at one with God and itself. <clears throat> How easily do errors disappear? Death gives place to everything. Everlasting life. Mm. Our shining footprints point the way to truth, for God is our companion as we walk the world just for a little while. And those who come to follow us will recognize the way because the light we carry stays behind, yet still remains with us as we Walk on. Hey, Devon, how are you, sweetie? I saw you had a nice Mother's Day with your mommy. That's my cousin. It's so great to have you. What we receive is our eternal gift to those who follow after and to those who went before, stayed with us a while. Yes. Our ancestors have laid the path, and we just follow. And God, who loves us with an equal love in which we were, recre we were created, smiles on us and offers us the happiness we gave. Yes. Mm -hmm. My happiness is my greatest gift to others. Yes. A quote from Esther and Abraham Hicks for today. Today, we will not doubt his love for us, nor question his protection and his care. No meaningless anxieties can come between our faith and our awareness of his presence. We are one with him today in recognition and remembrance. We feel him in our hearts. Our minds contain his thoughts. Our eyes behind his lovingness in all we look upon. Today, we see only the loving and the 
lovable. Thank you. Thank you for that blessing. Devon, I, he says, good morning, cuz. My God continues to bless you. Amen. Yes, he does bless us, doesn't he? It looks so great to know that he blesses us. We see an appearance of pain. And pain gives us a way to peace. We see it is in frantic, in the sad and the distressed, the lonely and the afraid, who are restored to tranquility and peace of mind in which they were created. Mm. And we see it in the dying and the dead as well, restoring them to life. All this we see because we saw it first within ourselves. We saw it first within ourselves. And we remember that God and I are one. No miracles can ever be denied to those who know that they are one with God. No thought of theirs but as the power to heal all forms of suffering in anyone in times gone by, times as yet to come, as easily as the one who walks besides them now. Their thoughts are timeless and apart from distance as apart from time. We join this awareness as we say that we are one with God. As we say we are one with God. For in these words we say as well that we are saved and healed. That we can save and heal accordingly. We have accepted. We have accepted. We now would give. For we would keep the gift our Father gave. Today, we would experience ourselves at one with Him so that the world may share our recognition of reality. Whew. Yes. Yes. For we would keep the gifts our Father gave today, we would experience ourselves at one with him so the world may share our recognition of reality. Mm. Peace be with you today. Secure your peace by practicing awareness you are one with your creator as he is with you sometime today whenever it seems best devote a half an hour to the thought that you are one with God just rest in that I am one with God Give 30 minutes to that thought. I am one with God. I am one with God. I am one with God. This is our first attempt to extend periods for which we give no rules, no special words to guide your meditation. We will trust God's voice to speak as he sees fit today. Certain he will not fail. Abide with him this half an hour. He will do the rest. Notice that it said there is no right or wrong way to do this. They just suggest you sit quietly and rest in that thought for 30 minutes. I am one with God. We remember that. Your benefit will not be less if you believe that nothing happened. You may not be ready, ready to accept the gain today. Yet, sometimes, somewhere, it will come to you. Nor will you fail to recognize it when it... I'm sorry. Oh, 
but we will trust God's voice to speak to us and see fit as how to work. So it says, nor will we recognize, fail to recognize it when it dawns with certainty upon your mind. This half hour will be framed in gold with every minute like a diamond set around the mirror that this exercise will offer you and you will see Christ. This is face upon it in re reflection of your own. Hey, Valerie. Good morning. God, good morning. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will see your own transfiguration in the glass this holy half an hour will hold out to you to look upon yourself when you are ready you will find it there within your mind and waiting to be found you will remember you will remember then the thought which you gave this half hour thankfully aware no time was ever better spent. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will look into the glass and understand the sinless light you see belongs to you. The loving, loving, lovingliness you look on yourself. Count this half an hour as your gift to God. In a certain certainty that he will return this sense of love you cannot understand, a joy too deep for you to comprehend, a sight too holy for your for the body's eyes to see, but yet your heart will. And yet, you can be sure someday, perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, you will understand and comprehend and see this to be the truth <coughs> and further jewels to be framed in gold. And you will see yourself differently today. So just repeat to yourself. Let me remember I am one with the God. Ooh, how did that happen? I'm off camera, huh? There I am. Here I am again. I got excited, huh? The camera got excited too. So let's remember. Let me remember I am one with God, at one with all my brothers and sisters, all myself in everlasting holiness and peace. So say to yourself, whenever you remember, if anything occurs that is not too pleasing to your heart, let me remember I am one with God. I am one with God in everlasting holiness and peace. I am one with God. Let me remember I am one with God in holiness and peace. I am there with my brothers and my sisters. I am there. You are there because I am there. Lord, thank you. Thank you. Let me remember I am one. Yes, yes. So now, we said that we started out this morning with the card from, um, we started out this morning with a card from uh, Abraham and, 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 and Esther Hicks and Chambers in the uh, utmost to his highest. But let's go back to the card. It says, my happiness is my greatest gift to others. 
selfishly seeking seek joy because your joy is the greatest gift you can give to anyone your joy is the greatest gift you can give to anyone unless you are in your joy you have nothing to give away so let us be joyous today let us be happy today let us know and understand and think I am one with God. Remember, God only wants us to be happy. Have a good God day. I am Rosa J. Doing it God's way each and every day. Make sure you go back in the in the uh, in the description and click my YouTube channel, Rosa J. Hodge YouTube. Rosa J. Hodge YouTube. Yes, subscribe to my channel. Go back to the I Am Affirmation page. I am Rosa J on Facebook and like the page so that you can get the lessons. They will be there. And leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Tell me how you feel. Hey, Tanner, I love you. I love you all. And I am so grateful, Devon, that you are changing into the light of God. Peace love and happiness. I love you. <laughs> and I'll see you tomorrow. Remember, I am one with God. Blessings. Namaste.